Hey, can you please help me to remove this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You are too aggressive. You want to hurt me. Okay, I'll go to the next person. Can you please? What is this? Oh, you are also desperate, right? You want to hurt me. Okay, I'll remove this. I got this accident while working in lab. Some spike is inserted in my hand. So I'll try to remove it by myself. And I'll make sure that it's removed in a painless manner. And I made sure that it's removed completely. So let me remove. Yeah, so it, it was a painless manner. And this concept of removing spike by yourself is the basis of killing cancer by using your own immunity. Do not take help from other sources. And today, in next 12 minutes, you are going to experience how to unleash your own immunity to fight cancer. Probably, cancer needs no introduction. It is the deadliest disease in the world. And what are the things that comes in our mind first when we talk about cancer? The bedridden patients, huge number of pills that needs to be taken on a regular basis, and the after effect of cancers that the patient's family has to bear. And cancer is probably the last disease that humans cannot control yet. And the, the mortality rate is increasing over the years. And there are some treatment options available for cancer, such as surgery. You remove a large patch of cancer from your body, but some cancer cells still remains. And the second is radiation, where you concentrate a beam of light on the cancers. But it can kill the healthy cells also, so it has drawback. And the third one, which is the most popular one, is the chemotherapy. You target cancer by some chemicals, but this process is also not trouble-free because you can ki it kills the healthy cells. Since chemo is the most popular one, so let's talk about chemo in more detail. <coughs> the chemo is generally designed to target the rapidly growing cells since cancer grows very rapidly. But some of the healthy cells sometimes they grow or divide very healthy, very rapidly. So it cannot differentiate the healthy cells and the cancer cells. So it ends up in killing the healthy cells as well. And you end up in getting side effect, which includes hair loss, headaches, then constipation, nausea, skin irritation, and the list goes on. And another thing that I want to mention here is due to due course of chemo treatment, cancer develop chemo resistant. Because cancer can change itself due to the mutation in it. So the chemo cannot target the original cancer. So it develops chemo resistance. So you learned that cancer is a deadly disease. And several conventional treatment options are there, which have numerous side effects and low efficiency. We need something extraordinary, which will be more powerful, but will be less harmful. And today, you are going to experience that in near future, cancer will be treated like any other disease. For that, let me ask you something. Did you know that your immune system has the capability to kill cancer? Does it seem obvious? But still, people, people develop cancer. And today, I'm going to disclose this fighting attitude of our immune system and how a new concept of cancer treatment has been developed by exploiting this fighting attitude of our immune system, and which is called immunotherapy. But before that, what is immune system? When you get viral attack or bacterial attack, is that immune system that protects us from these pathogens. An immune system is consist of immune army. In today's context, I will only concentrate on killer cell, which is T cell, called T cell. T cell, or the killer cell, can travel throughout the body in body's fluid, and this is called immune surveillance. When this killer cell is not killing some pathogens, it is in off state or inactivated. And when it is killing the pathogens, it's on or activated state. As I mentioned, killer cell is a subset of that immune army. 
and it is programmed to kill the cancer cells and eliminate from the body. But how does this job is done in so specific manner? Cancer expresses some molecule on its surface which make it different from the healthy cells. And T cells, since it moves throughout the body, it acts like a high-tech scanner and it can detect this molecule through its receptor. And it gets activated against that cancer cell and finally kill it. Then the next question that arises, if our immune system has the capability to specifically recognize the cancer cell and kill it, then why do people develop cancer? The answer lies in the defense mechanism of cancer. Where in the battle of cancer cells and immune cells, cancer cells oversmart the immune army, and it creates a backpath defense system where PD-1 on killer cells and its ligand PDL1 on cancer cells interact with each other and it deactivates the killer cell and it cannot kill cancer cell anymore. So no need to be frustrated here because this was an important discovery since scientists got the clue that due to this interaction your killer cell is becoming deactivated and they move towards the next step and that is to block that interaction. And after years of hard work, scientists finally could develop one antibody that can come in between PD-1 and PD-L1. And it is called PD-1 blockade, since it blocks that interaction and it activates the killer cells. So this approach has been demonstrated successfully in mice model first. Now, let us experience how this approach has been translated into human diseases. For that, let's take an example of ovarian cancer, which, is, which has become chemoresistant. This picture shows is a cross-section picture where the face is behind the screen and the feet is towards you. The circle part and the arrow showing the cancer, solid tumor, before treatment. And after treatment with PD-1 blockade, the drug is called nivolumab, and it shrinks the solid tumor in a complete manner. So, which indicate that this PD-1 blockade has a great potential to treat solid tumor. Now, since chemotherapy was the most popular one, now let's take an example where this immunotherapy was proven to be a superior treatment option. Let's take an example of melanoma. Melanoma is a skin cancer which, is, which occur generally in Japan, Australia, or in some part of Europe. Until last decade, decarbazine, which is a chemo drug, was the first line of treatment for this melanoma disease. However, due to the emergence of this PD-1 blockade therapy, the old perception has changed. Since nivolumab, which is a PD-1 blockade drug, has dramatically improved the survival rate of melanoma patients. These examples propelled FDA, which is a US-based drug regulatory agent, to approve this PD-1 blockade-based nivolumab therapy for the treatment of melanoma, Hodgkin lymphoma, head and neck cancer, hepatocellular carcinoma, and few more diseases. Thus, we saw that PD-1 blockade-based immunotherapy has led a paradigm shift in drug discovery of cancer treatment. And I can see some of, of your faces is feeling relaxed that finally the cancer treatment has arrived and we can get a clear treatment of cancer. But that's not the end of story. Because in reality, only 25 to 35 per per percent patients are responsive. So what happened to other patients? And this is what we are searching in our lab, of why this PD-1 blockade is not applicable to all patients and how to overcome this unresponsiveness. We observed that although you are targeting this PD-1 and PD-L1 blockade and trying to activate the killer cells to kill the cancers, but in reality, this activation is not sufficient to remove or to eliminate the cancer cells. So what, is, what can we do now? 
we can try to re-energize the killer cells. And that's what we hypothesized by targeting the mitochondria of killer cells. If we can activate mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cells, which produces most of the energy for cells, then it can re-energize the cells again to kill cancer. And indeed, this was a great strategy we found in our lab in mouse model that when we activate mitochondria with PD-1 blockade, it improves the survival rate where each dot indicate one animal dies on that particular date. These results have been published and we have planned for the clinical trials. Now, since we have like unveiled the tumor evasion mechanism and finally discovered some safer treatment option by unleashing our own immunity, so we can draw this curve downward with a great hope. And we can hope that in future, the cancer will be treated in a much safer way. Thank you.